All right, hey, Tai here, so welcome to the Viatech channel. So is there any better way to start 2021 than with this, the most expensive virtual reality headset on the market with a price tag of $9,000? $9,000. Oh, that is supposed to pack pretty much everything available as a technology for a VR headset. Here we have eye tracking. This thing is massive, by the way. Uh, we have eye tracking and tracking, a super high resolution display, wide FOV, custom pancake lenses, virtual link connection, possibility to add a mixed reality module, works with every tracking technology, used by the US Air Force, NASA, and well, me right now. Whoa, all right. I think I'm done with the list. But anyway, guys, <laughs> Let's see what's inside this $9,000 headset box. Let's get into it. All right, here we are with the X doll. Let me put it on frame. Uh, here the big X, actually. Uh, let me turn this around so you can see the logo over here. Okay, focus is going nuts. So let's put it in the middle and uh, well, let's start, right? This is from VR Engineer, so let's open it and here we go. So, here we have a uh, Excel. Welcome to your Excel, the setup guide, and all the different instructions. This use USB Type C virtual link. It's actually the only one in the market using it, and uh, probably it's gonna be also the last one. Uh, so, let's go through here uh, with the VR accessories, as they call it. All right, so we have a cleaning cloth and two little dongles. This doesn't have uh, the Bluetooth inside directly for the controller, so you're gonna need these two uh, little dongles over here. All right, let's open the uh, little cloth. Here we are. So yeah, a VR engineer uh, cleaning cloth, pretty easy. Let me do some magic and disappeared like this and then of course the headset so three two one let's go jeez this thing is huge oh my god oh my god look at this this is my hand for scale let me a second <laughs> All right, so this is a Quest 2 for scale. As you can see, it's like you can fit two Quest 2 in here. That's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> All right. Wow. Wow. Okay, let me, let me get it out from the box. So uh, here we have the cable. As we said, it's a virtual link cable, so it's just a Type-C cable uh, that transmit uh, the display ports, the USB and also the power. So you just need this with an RTX graphic card. And wow, look how flexible is this cable. It is unbelievable. Anyway, uh, let's take it out. There's nothing else in the box. Wow, this thing is heavy. Here we are with the x -Dial. Wow, wow. All right, so here we have this uh, kind of skeleton that is SteamVR tracking because it's an add-on. Uh, you can have it also without it. And uh, of course, it's gonna use just 3DOF. So uh, as three accelerometers, I am using inside uh, to, of course, uh, use all of that. Here we have the Magic Leap module. So for and tracking directly with the two cameras and the infrared cameras over there. Then uh, looking at the top, of course, we have the connection uh, for the add-on of the uh, SteamVR tracking uh, that goes directly to the USB because here we have a full USB 3.0 on the headset. And of course, everything then is gonna go through the virtual link over there as well. Uh, on the bottom, nothing. There's no IPD adjustment over here manual because it's all done by software and there's like two little motors that are actually gonna move 
the IPD in base of your eyes because of course you have eye tracking over here. This is a proprietary eye tracking. Let me get this out so maybe we see it better. Uh, we have the infrared lights and two cameras somewhere that I can't really find. But look at these lenses. These are custom made lenses are patented by them directly. So uh, the only place where you're gonna see these kind of lenses are not the classic Fresnel lenses. And that's a good thing because you should have a much bigger sweet spot uh, with this. Uh, let's keep going around. So here we have the strap uh, the, with the dial on the back. This doesn't, this doesn't feel very $9,000 to be very honest. Uh, the two little strap to keep it in place. And then we have over here a net phone jack. It's really hard to show. And over here, instead, we have another uh, other two connectors for uh, the add-ons, like the mixed reality add-on that you can add also on the front. Over here, these two dials are to change the distance between uh, not the lenses on your face, but the lenses and the screen. So uh, if you have myopia and stuff like that, uh, you will be covered. And you can see we have some vents because uh, there are some fans inside. Uh, the head strap is removable. Is removable. You have to clips over here. Uh, I don't want to break anything, but you should do something like this and then move it back. All right. So this is the Xtal directly from VR engineers. This thing is absolutely massive. So in the box, you find that, you find the two uh, controllers, a lot of strap for the cables, uh, instructions, the uh, little cloth, and a very long USB Type-C virtual link cable, the only one in the market. Here we go. And here we have it, guys. This thing is absolutely massive. I mean, there, there's such substance in here. Uh, well, it's impressive the fact that we have every sensor we talked about in the last two years uh, in this headset. It's like a kind of a beacon uh, for the future. Uh, but at the same time, well, you know, uh, you see it. It's expensive, of course. It's something that you can buy if you want, uh, but well, I still need to test it if it's actually worth it or not. If for $9,000 really need to be something, you know? I tried it a little and not much. I'm not really to, ready to share uh, much yet because I wasn't able really to calibrate the IPD in the right way. So I didn't have the perfect uh, experience. By the way, I know that during the unboxing, I wasn't very clear, but uh, this is not just by software. Uh, like the lenses actually move. There are motors inside that move the lenses to actually with the help of the eye tracking, move in the right position for the right person at the right time. But for some reason, it doesn't calibrate on my eyes. I don't know what's going on. Uh, we are trying to figure out. That's why uh, I'm waiting a little longer to share, of course, uh, the more the experience. Putting it on, I have to say, yes, it's big. Yes, it's massive. Yes, it's heavy. But uh, when you stay still, uh, well, it's kind of uh, okay. Well, you can feel it, of course, but uh, it's not crazy. When you move, like, uh, you get a lot of momentum over there. Uh, you could snap your neck pretty easily. Talking about the unboxing experience, well, I was expecting a little more. Of course, for a $9,000 headset, $9,000. And uh, so, yeah, this thing has to be very, very good because I, I guess that all the money just went directly in this particular thing and not the, the little stuff that you find in there. I can't wait to make it work for real and then be able to share with you everything you want to know. If you want to know something particular, if you want to see something particular from a $9,000 headset, please let me know in the comment below. But here I have guys, the most expensive virtual reality headset on the market, the x -Style, AK. And as always, if you like the video, like, if you did like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And if you really love the channel, so join button down there, little down further, also the Patreon with prior access to videos. And at the same time, we have a t-shirt sticker in March 2020 item number one. And by the way, to make it clear, I didn't buy this. I'm not going to keep it. Uh, something that they sent over so I can try it out. And uh, yeah, until next video, 